guys, it's Ellie Diamonds, also known as Sparkle, the diamond painter Instagram. And today, there is another unboxing. So this is a painting from Mary's Diamonds that I've been waiting for two months. I placed the order on June 6th. It shipped on June 17th, which, to be honest, was quite a long processing time. And um, I did see on the shipment information that it is shipped from the Huacan factory store. I don't know if that's accurate, but I've heard a lot of people say that it is a Huacan. Um, they do use Huacan for their production. That's where they get all their paintings made and stuff. So I'm just going to go with it is a Huacan uh, family, uh, family, sorry, a Huacan company. Um, but they do have licensed images, which is uh, what I liked about them. And that's why I purchased from them because they do give commission to the artists. Um, but yeah, uh, so it was shipped on June 17th and it got here on August 6th and yeah, that was quite a bit of time. It was two months in total, but Hey, I understand it is a tough time right now with the whole COVID situation. So shipping time is delayed. So I'm not going to be mad at the company about that. Maybe if I order from them in the future, when everything settles down a little bit, I'll test the shipping time from them again. But for now, that's the information. I'll also put it on the screen. And then this is the canvas I paid about $35 Canadian for. And that is after 50% off coupon. So it is originally almost $70 Canadian, I believe. But again, they give commission to the artist. So yeah, um, I just do hope. It is almost like the price of DAC painting. So I really do hope that the quality is there. And yeah, let's get started. Let's open it up. So it has come in the um, bubble wrap tube. There it is. And let's open this up. Uh, so this is a piece by the artist Leoba. I have no idea what her last name is. Sorry, I, I can't remember. Um, but I will put the information on the screen and also in the description box. Um, from what I have learned, because I watched one of Rachel Ray's um, unboxing on Mary Simons, and she said that there was a misunderstanding between the companies and Leo, but is actually exclusively licensed to Die Moon Shop. So her work now um, as diamond paintings can only be found on Die Moon Shop. It is no longer available on Mary Simons' website. Um, but when I purchased it, I did actually asked Mary Simon about it, and then she said that uh, Leoba would still get the commission from the sale of this painting, which I was very happy about. Um, so yeah, it is quite sad that her artwork is no longer carried though, because I really do love her artwork, and the um, shipping price from Diamond Shop is quite expensive. <laughs> oh, also it, it was free shipping. And let's take a look at the inventory sheet. So this is the image that I ordered. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen it already. I'm actually starting this next as um, most of my followers were voted for this painting. There is a total of 48 colors and it is a 60 by 60. It's this inventory sheet. 48 colors, that is pretty impressive. I'm happy to see that. And a toolkit with a pen trying to escape. So we have, <laughs> we have the clear pen, um, I think it's a four placer, a clear pen with a four placer and a blue squishy or grip holder. I love this boat guys. Oh my gosh. I've actually been trying to order one, but now it seems like I don't have to order one, which is perfect. Uh, there's 10 placer, two big plates of pink wax and a huge boat. Here, do a size comparison of the clear boat that we get from Diamond Art Club. Boat, there it is. So this is a Diamond Art Club boat and this is what came in this kit, which is pretty nice because um, then with a bigger space I can use the 10 um, multi-placer. And it's also much steeper so when you shake it the drills are not as likely to fall out. I don't like the fact that it doesn't have a funnel, but you know, it will work. I am happy about it. And 
let's just take a look at the drills really quick and then we'll come back to the canvas. Sorry, just clean this up. Okay, so they do come in the plastic baggies, which is the same as the Evershine, which is perfect. It has a 60 by 60, and then I believe this number corresponds to the one at inventory sheet, yep. So it is the item number right here. So if you keep them separately, you can find it like that. And it says 48 colors right here. Open it up. Okay guys, so here's all the diamonds laid out in order. We actually have all of them, which is amazing because I did miss um, one of the colors in my Evershine unboxing. So yeah, look at how pretty. Wow. Yeah, very colorful. And look at this huge bag of 939s. Okay, at least we don't have three tens. We have no three tens in this kit, guys. That is amazing. And I'll just take a look at a lighter color and a darker color as usual. So here is a light color. Oh, it is a square drill, by the way. I forgot to say. Oop, there's an infiltrator there. <laughs> well, I mean, it looks good. I don't see anything wrong with it. But if it's Huacan, then maybe there are some tads for popping drills. I don't know. We guess we'll see. I will keep you updated on my Instagram and on my channel to see how uh, this canvas plays out. See a dark color. I think it looks pretty good. Yeah, I don't really see much problem with it. Except for little dimples in the back, but that doesn't really affect anything. It looks good right now, guys. But, of course, we won't know until we start working on it. Um, so, yeah, when it comes, I forgot to mention, when it comes in a little baggie like this, first number is the number that corresponds to your legend, like the number on here. And second number will be the DMC code. And then the third number is how many of the drills that you need. So, um, they usually give you a little extra than what you need, and when they do it by baggie, they usually do it by weight. So, you don't know if you're going to run out, right? We just kind of have to trust that they gave us enough. But usually the seller will send it to you, but, or you can use the spare drills. Where, um, there are group chats on Facebook with pay it forward um, group chats where you can send each other missing, um, you can send each other drills to help each other out. I feel those groups are super great. Someone sent me some drills and I'm able to finish my painting. So I'm really grateful for. I am very glad that everything scares so I don't have to wait for them to send me the extra drills because that would take forever. I will put those away and I will be right back with the canvas. Okay, so the canvas just had a plastic wrap around it and I just took that off so you don't have to see me struggle. It was in transit for two months, so um curious to see how it looks like. It is a little bent. Um, you, there, you can see there's some creases here and it's not really straight. You can't really tell on camera, but in person you can tell. And then the side is a little bit scrunched up and it's a little dented right here as well. And down here. This is why I don't like it when seller put it in a boot because this can happen. But anyways, it is on a foam roller. So that should help a little bit, and let's just open it up and see. So it is double-sided adhesive. It is 60 by 60. I will have to show it to you the other way. I mean, I won't be able to fit everything on camera anyway. I will just have to bring you up and show it to you. Try to flatten it out. So with double-sided adhesive, you don't want to roll it the other way to flatten out. You would um, want to lift up the corners and then place it back down and it will flatten out. My table is not so uh, not quite wide enough for this. So it's a little bit is hanging off the table, but that's fine. We have her logo, Mary's Diamond. Sorry, it's a little scented. I just can't fit everything. And so it says, shine bright like a diamond on the bottom. I don't know if you guys can see. Yeah, you can. 
uh, see how creased up it is in the canvas. Like, it has many bubbles. I don't know if that means rivers or not yet, so we will just have to open it up and see. It has four, so, sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six strips of adhesive. I'm gonna have a lot of fun putting it back. Um, and so what I would probably end up doing is just covering everything with parchment paper. Um, but because I'm starting it right now, I might not do it. Oh, so far it doesn't look like there's any rivers. Maybe it's just a crease in the cover then. It's possible. Okay. Let me just try to lift everything up and show you. So I'll be right Guys, isn't this painting gorgeous? I just, I love everything about it. I think it's so, so pretty. Mm, this is everything. Again, it is a 60 by 60. Does not fit on my table. <laughs> so as you can see here, it's creased up. I mean, there isn't any rivers, like nothing is popping up, but it's just really wrinkly and it's, especially this area is not good. But I mean, the double-sided glue is not lifting up or anything. So maybe if I just put it under the bed for a little bit or something heavy that it will flatten out. But other than that, everything looks fine. And as long as this section flatten out, everything else is perfectly fine. There's a little rise in those sections here you can see it clearly like that like this part is a little higher I, I think it will flatten out and for my canvas that i'm working on right now it does have a little bit of the the rise at some parts of the canvas and the drills are sticking on it perfectly fine i know that it depends on the drill quality as well but i haven't really had a problem with it so i feel like it will be fine well i'm really hoping that it will find out by itself first and then that it will be fine um i'm sure it will be okay do all look good everything looks good and yeah let me just place the cover back down and then we'll take a closer look at the drill field hi i just want to come back and say that i did end up ironing it so i flipped the canvas over and then I put a t-shirt on top and then I just ironed it like how I would normally iron a shirt and it flattened out really nicely and immediately after that I just replaced the double-sided adhesive cover with um, the replacement cover paper that I got from a DAC kit and now it's really flat laying on my table so yeah just wanted to update you guys on that okay we're just gonna lift up a little corner and we'll see if the drill field is clear so again, this is a square painting, and wow, look at that. I think it's really clear, you guys. Doesn't that look really clear? I'm not a big fan of the check mark and that two little things. <laughs> I, I don't know what that is, but you know what I'm talking about, right? Like these ones, it's, it's a little hard on the eyes, but I mean, they're still different. They still look different. So I'm not like super mad and thank goodness for the E and the F being two different colors. That would help a lot. <laughs> yeah, let's take a look at the legend. So you only get one legend on the right hand side of the canvas. Okay, we're gonna have to look at it this way. Okay, so you have the little thumbnail at the top and you're just gonna look at the symbols really quick. Let's see if anything is Confusing. Don't worry, I'm only bending like uh, the, the canvas part does, does, doesn't have glue on it, so. I mean, I don't really see anything. I feel like it would be okay. Yeah, but I will keep you guys updated for sure when I start working on it to tell you if there is any trouble with the drills or the symbols or anything like that. Yeah, I'll keep you guys updated on how this one works out. And I post it most often on my Instagram, which is sparkle.diamondpaint that I will leave down below. Oh, sorry, very quickly, I totally forgot. We're just going to mention the drill field. So I did a diamond painting trade with someone and her name is Nellie. She's on Instagram. I'll leave her Instagram down below. 
you should totally check her out. She sent me this super cute measuring tape from Distracted by Diamonds. And oh, it's so adorable and I just, I can't wait to use it. So let's just use this to measure if the canvas is true to size. We're going from drill field one end to the other. So it is uh, 23 inches. It is 50, almost 59, basically 59. And 58. So it is 58 by 59 which is, I mean, it's super close to 60 by 60, so that's fine with me. This is the video of me box unboxing Mary's diamonds, and I will keep you guys updated on how it goes, and maybe do whip and chat on this painting. Yeah. I am not going to be kidding it up because it is already in baggies and labeled with the SC number. I might just slap on a symbol, like draw the symbol on on a piece of tape and just put it on to the baggie or just directly write it on the baggie so that I don't have to look at the legend while I'm working on it. Yeah, I am almost done with my current whip and I cannot wait to start this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.